Canada sold out much like some members of our Democratic Party. Jim Doyle. Uh, so, no one said he could win. He became the official opposition. He was poised to be the next Prime Minister of Canada. And unfortunately, cancer struck him down at the age of 61. I know for a fact he was with us every step of the way. So, I know that this is being taped and I want to send this to my friends in Canada. Let's do a big thank you for Jack Lake. Business being in that beautiful building. Yeah. Oh, no, this is you, Scott Walker, Mr. Hair in a Can. <laughs> you can change the laws of Wisconsin, but you can't change this state fundamentally. You will never, ever, ever live up to fighting Bob LaFollette. Ever. Waiting to do. I think we're gaining ground, and I'm guessing that if Scott Walker were recalled today, I'm guessing that Casey Anthony could beat him, right? <laughs> but we still got some work to do, so we need to connect the dots. My friends from the United Steelworkers from Menasha are here today. <laughs> and they've been here all the time, every day. But to tell you the truth, we still got to connect the dots because you know we hear from these right-wing parrots like Vicki McKenna and Mark Belling and Charlie Sykes and Governor Douche Nozzle in there. You know what we hear all the time? If the people in the private sector don't have this and the people in the private sector haven't done it, they're the ones that have done it to the people of the private sector. They've never been the friends of the working people, ever! some 401 k scheme. They did. Yeah. They, they're the ones that let Wall Street gamble our money away. Uh, did any of you support NAFTA? I didn't. Oh. They did that. <laughs> they look like they're friends and workers in the private sector. And these idiots who follow them, what do they have, yeah. Stockholm Syndrome? Yeah. I mean, you know, we've, got, we've, got a new, we've got a new term for people that... Uh, that make $30,000 a year and vote Republicans. We call it Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a little persuading to do. We'll be nice, usually. But I want to tell you something. Check Facebook. The governor's in Milwaukee tomorrow, and he's in Madison, I believe, at the Pile Center. Oh, is it Tuesday? Or Tuesday. All right. He's in, I think it's tomorrow in Milwaukee, then uh, the next week in Madison. Show up. We gave him a big warm, warm welcome in Beloit. I don't know if you saw that on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I want to 
to tell you something, and I said this on these steps back in February. Scott Walker grew up in Delavan, Wisconsin as an Eagle Scout. Governor, they don't make a badge for union busting. Yeah. And you may be able to stop the automatic deduction. You may be able to temporarily harm people's paychecks, but you will never, ever take AFSCME out of its birthplace, ever. the United Steelworkers with your schemes for more free trade because that's what they're doing. You know, he talks about creating jobs. Good Lord. You know, he's done for jobs what American Idol's done for music. <laughs> it's just a couple months away. I just want you to stay geared up. I pondered this for a few days as we take, the, take to this next step. I now looked at, looked at the election results come in from Jim Holprin's district. <laughs> Our friend Jim, one vilest county, he beat this teabagger named Tim Simic who thinks our, compared our schools to Nazi Germany. I have news for you. He won counties that haven't gone Democratic for years, including the Obama landslide. Those people are not to stop walking anymore because they know what he's going to do to our community. You spend your money with the people that support you. The hell with Johnson Bill Brotts. The hell with them and I The hell with WIBA and WTMJ and the mainstream media. The Madison Fire Department, Local 311, is stood by to march with us in that building. Let's take it back and go in there. <laughs>
building. I miss the smell. I miss the sound. I miss the people. And this has really brought something back to me, so I appreciate that, and I wanted to articulate that. This time is hard for me. I want to advise us to stay. I'm a young man, but I learned quick. And I feel like we've given them every opportunity. Every opportunity to work in good faith. But I want my faith back. I'm not going to give them faith in a structure. Thank you. Yeah. We are the healers. That's fine.